The fans were rocking at Loyalist College on Wednesday as the Loyalist Lancers looked to improve on their 6-1 record, while the Seneca Sting looked to improve on their 5-3 record in OCAA women's volleyball action. The Loyalist Lancers wore their home blues for this matchup, while the Seneca Sting wore their away red. We'll pick things up in the first set, where reigning OCAA Volleyball Player of the Week, Jenny Richardson, served for the Loyalist Lancers. Seneca went up an early 9-4 in the first set, but the Lancers battled back to make it 11-10 before dropping the first set, 25-17. The Lancers would bounce back in the second set, countering the relentless blocking attack of the Seneca Sting, the number one defense in the OCAA, and they would go on to win the second set by a score of 25-21. In the third set, it was still anybody's match as the Lancers and Sting came out strong. The Sting would add out to an early lead in the set before a late comeback by the Lancers. The Sting would go on to win that set 25-16. The Lancers would ultimately for win the fourth set by a score of 25-16 and force a fifth and final set as to coach Tony Clark looked on. In the final set, the Lancers would force match point and they would tip one over the net. The Seneca defense would do all they could to return it, but they would be unable to do so. The Lancers would take the win and improve their record to 6-1, while the Seneca Sting fall to a record of 5-4. The Lancers were led to victory by 18-year-old rookie and Whippy native Jenny Richardson, who recorded 12 kills and 12 digs in the victory. Meanwhile, for the Sting, Mariah Johnson led the way with 11 kills of her own. After the game, Matt Taylor caught up with Mariah Johnson. You guys uh, were tied 2-2 going into the fifth set. Does that happen to you guys often, going into the fifth set like that? Um, yeah, it happens a lot. We're a very up and down team, inconsistent with a lot of things. But we're a new team, so like we're still working on working together and stuff. Now, did you notice that uh, Loyalists changed their strategy in that set that they won? Uh, yes, they started tipping and dumping a lot. Are you guys prepared for that? You guys have a strong uh, net game. Do you guys get that a lot? Um, sometimes. I don't know. It depends on how our game is going. It depends on like if we're doing good or bad. Dashwood, Ontario native Lynette Millick credits better communication for the Lancers' five-side comeback. That was an up-and-down battle there. You guys went into the fifth set. Have you been going into the fifth set uh, lately? Uh, no, this is our first time going into the fifth. Really? Uh, so was it a, kind of a surprise you guys were able to come back like that? Um, no, our communication did break down in the beginning, which was tough. But with the uh, communication coming back up and encouraging each other, um, we came back strong. So that was good. The Lancers return to action this weekend as they head to Ottawa to face the Algonquin Thunder. For the Sportswire, I'm Anthony Bobacco in Belleville.